Yeah, there's one, uh, one line that I read that well, I had to start this interview with. Um, I was brought up on that music about uh, American Soul. Yeah. What are your first memories of this music? Uh, my first memories are um, seeing on a black and white TV um, the Four Tops and the Supremes and uh, in those days the, the, the TVs weren't so good in like 1964, 65 and so they weren't very light so a black person on the TV you couldn't actually see them very well and they used to wear these very shiny dresses uh, you know and shiny suits and these dance routines and I just remember loving how the four tops moved and uh, this fantastic voice of Levi Stubbs um, that was probably the first and Otis Redding as well I think they were the first kind of soul experiences that coincided also with um, the uh, huge rise of the Beatles and the Rolling Stones and I remember the, the ladies who looked after me saying how they were horrified by the Rolling Stones and how they said they looked so ugly and they looked like she, I remember my auntie saying that she thought they looked like cavemen, like Neanderthals and I, and I remember just thinking like that's, I kind of like that, you know, I yeah. like I like them because they were kind of a bit dirty, you know. But you were really young then because you were born in 1960. Yeah. And I think the rise of the Beatles and Stones, 64, 5, 66. Yeah, yeah. I, I, it's, I know it seems, I know it seems young, but I, my, my uh, the people who looked after me when I was a kid, the four, four daughters and a mother when my father was working, um, they said I was very musical, very young. And uh, that I used to be able to, when I, even before I could read, I could actually find my favorite songs on the LPs because of the size of the grooves. I, could, I memorized where, where they were on the, on the vinyl, so I could actually choose the, the songs. Is there one song that you still know that you, that you knew the... Well, my first, co my first gig um, was when I was six, and I sang I Wanna Hold Your Hand by the Beatles with a grown-up band yeah. uh, at a wedding, at one, of, one of the girls' weddings. Were you, did you have a, a good voice back then? Um, I, d I doubt it. I mean, I, you know, um, but I think I, I've noticed my daughter has got good pitch. So she sings sort of in tune. So I probably sang in tune. The most frustrating thing is that it was recorded. And for years, one of my family friends had a reel to reel, but he's lost it. He can't find it anyway. It's somewhere in his attic. I'd love to hear that. Yeah. Um, well, you were saying your dad, when he was off to work, you were brought up by your dad? Yeah. Um, was he into this music? Um, well, yeah, he, he, you know, we, we always had the radio on. And I, I didn't get my first record player until I was 11 in 1971. Um, so we were always listening to the radio. And uh, I think my father had the radio on at, at work as well. Um, he was a barber. And he'd be listening to the radio all day. So he'd come home and say, oh, I've just heard this new song by Simon and Garfunkel. It's going to be a big hit, that. You know, he'd always talk about songs that, oh, that'll be a hit. I don't like this new one by what was it, but that's that's great, you know. So we'd always be talking about music over the breakfast table, you know. Was he right? He was pretty good, yeah. yeah. I mean, he was pretty good, yeah. He, he uh, I think it was that music and um, gambling were, were my father's two main interests. He'd talk about horses, horses and music. And when he listened to your song that you wrote for... Uh frantic elevators and simply read. Did he tell you and was he right what was going to be a hit? Well, he thought the frantic elevators were bloody rubbish. That's, that's, what, that's what he would say. And, and he'd always been complaining like most teenagers, will you turn that bloody music down in, the, in my bedroom, you know? Um, uh, I just think he was ecstatic when we became famous with Simply Red. I, I just don't think he... You know, I'm from a, a, a reason, a pretty poor working class background. I don't think he thought we had any chance but uh, to make it. But I was inspired by the fact that the Beatles were poor uh, working class boys. And 
they made it and they came from the northwest and i thought well if they can do it well why can't other people do it we could do it you know